so we are in I we are now going into hour two of well actually we're ending hour two the, the, we're going into hour three of um my charity stream so I'm gonna be streaming until noon today and playing this game called Toonstruck it's a combination of all the things you love about 90s cartoons and Christopher Lloyd as a playable character it's been a little bit weird I gotta be honest to you but um, if you do want to help out with the charity, uh, in the, today the charity that I'm supporting is called Food for the Poor, and we're trying to raise twelve hundred dollars for uh, five thousand pounds of food. So if you're interested in helping out, there's the link. And in the meantime, uh, I have already donated five percent of our goal. Uh, my Mrs. Dash and Mini Dash and I have donated five percent of our uh, of the goal, which is sixty dollars. And if, uh, if we hit $600, we will donate another $60. That will be a total of 10% of the goal. As you can see, this, this game really does have everything about classic cartoons down. Everything from the music to the look, the feel. And they actually hired the voice casts from many of our... Uh-oh. This... That would be interesting. Cutscene. Who's there? It is I, your malevolence. Ooh. A thousand pardons, but I have detected a new presence in More Trace Mechanal. I don't have time for more news of rabbits. I have work. This is no rabbit. I've never sensed any creature quite like this before. I see. Is it, um, dangerous? What? It seems harmless. So far. Good, good, but keep watching it. I'm not in the mood for meddlers. I need time to recharge the machine for my next strike. Yes, my liege. Uh-oh. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> but you can tell the voice cast are people... So, to give you an idea of voice cast in this game, some of them are, um... People... What is with these eyes? It's just... Creepy. Thank you for choosing Zenidu Tours. The building on your left is Jim's Gym. Jim's Gym. Let's go take a look at Jim's Gym. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, this is a 1996 game. And um, I had some... Let's see, what's what's up with this guard here? Excuse me, sir. Outhouse security. I'll have to ask you gentlemen to step away from the rest facility. Oh, yeah? Or else what? Citizens in my capacity as an outhouse security professional, this flushing establishment and its surroundings are within my jurisdiction. What? In short, from where you stand, I am the law. As such, I am authorized to deal with scoundrels, gangsters, charlatans, miscreants, rapscallions, Mary what? Wells, and all other troublemakers as I see fit. This would include mercilessly beating you about the head with the shovel. I think we might Wait, just do whatever he says. I swear, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm a pitiful coward, I'd step back. <laughs> Wait, you to use the bathroom? Like, off. why is there that of... That, let me just... Just making sure you're still breathing. Bye bye Okay. What? What's with Jim's gym? I want to take a look at this. What? This is this is crazy. Hi there. I'm Drew. This is my friend Flux. Oh, Th this was the height of '90s gaming. I mean, come on. You got Christopher Lloyd in here. Jim by accident. You two are obviously looking for the dress shop down the street. You will recognize it by the sign reading. Yes, girls, come inside now. We have petite sizes. Okay, Arnold, uh, uh let me guess. sound alike. You're Jim. Yes. Ooh, I am becoming flabbergasted. To my surprise, Actually, Dan Castellaneta from The Simpsons does a lot of voices in this. Actually, and Frank Welker, who is Fred is from Scooby-Doo. And a million vegetables. other things. Grow vegetables. And domesticate lesser mammals, such as the canines. Ooh. Uh -huh. While the monkey man grows vegetables, I'm growing muscles. I don't think he has any idea what I was talking about. Yeah, well, that makes three of us. <laughs> I had somebody today say, you know, the audio sync on the game seems off. And I'm like, um, uh. that's because it's from 1996 and video and audio compression suck then. So, what's so great about this gym anyway? What is being so great about this gym was asking the pretty little lady man. 
My techniques have helped hundreds become stronger, less pathetic individuals. Oh, I need that help. <laughs> no pupil has ever come close to equaling my strength. Of course. But all of my customers are walking out that door able to kick their flabby hindquarters of weaklings like you. Oh. Like a certain sailor man. I put him on an all spinach diet. <laughs> you should see him now. <laughs> oh. I think I have. Ah, nice. All right, let's let's talk That's about these things. Gymnastic stuff for. That is my personal equipment. I use it to demonstrate my agility and grace. If you ask me, all those bars and things look kind of... Dangerous. To a clumsy, bumbling monkey like you, yes. But for me, my routine is as easy as one, two... Say, Jim, could you possibly do us a small... Ooh, what, what, what are we going to do here? One thing, speak stick figure, man. Well, I, I was just wondering if maybe Flux and I could see your routine. All right, I suppose I can be giving you a quick demonstration. Oh boy, I can hardly be waiting. Let's see. Wonder if there's going to be any items I can grab after he does this. Dang. Classic 90s animation. Are you serious? That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Actually, the the guy that did the music behind this game is trying to make a second version of this game because the game is actually shorter than it was supposed to be. Wow! That was amazing! You could be famous! I mean, any circus would kill for a dog act like that! Wow! Uh, what's that big machine in the corner? You are looking at the ultimate piece of bodybuilding equipment. The really? Pop Guaranteed to be beating even the most pathetic loser into a powerful specimen of manhood. I wonder if I use that. that. Sounds like there's hope for you after all. Sorry, Charlie. The equipment is only for club members. Ah, oh, boo. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and join up. Wrong again, Pee Wee Man. Membership is by invitation only. What? My invitation. And, uh, we're not invited. Bingo, puny wimp rant. <laughs> wow, that's that's well, it's time for great. Us to go. Hey, we must have been here several months and dog years. Do not be getting attitude, smarty slacks, or I will be having no choice but to pound you into a puddle with teeth. Let me just check. I'm gonna check and see. No, no, not like that. Uh oh. What do you mean not like that? <laughs> I'm just checking. No, that's not what I wanted to look at. Just making sure that I have tweets going out. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna leave the gym. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Let me read this advertisement. An advertisement for a whack me contest. Call now for your free prize, or at least a bunch of questions. Today is your lucky day. Call now for your free prize. Blue, purple, red, orange, yellow, green, orange notepad notepad okay let me write this down <laughs> So that'll be interesting because I want to get to their prize machine. What's this? What does this sign say? Does it say like no bugs? Jim's Jim! Zany Doo's fitness center and designated drop zone for doggy doo doo. Really? Interesting.
Let's see. Let me talk to this guard a little bit more. Hello again. Good day, gentlemen. I trust you two are just passing through. Yeah, yeah. I, I just making sure you're still breathing. No, no, I didn't want to leave. I wanted to talk to him. Stop. You're still here? In my capacity as an outhouse security professional, I am duty bound to authorize you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get this straight. Yep. You're guarding this outhouse? Correct. No one is allowed inside until the clock strikes the end of my shift. Zany do penal code section 7 subparagraph 12. But what if it's, uh, you know, an emergency? A fish flushing emergency? Fish flushing? Well, yeah. What else would we do in there? Sir, oh, I have a fish. An outhouse for any reason other than to flush fish would be considered toileting with intent, for which I can and will cause you pain. Hey, what else would we do in there? Right, <laughs> Flux? Look, we just want to flush some fish. Is that so wrong? Yeah. I I've made it very clear to you two that fish flushing hours are over. Oh, okay. The zany do clock has chimed out the end of my shift. At that time, I shall spend exactly 30 minutes perambulating to my residence. And after ensuring that my dwelling is tidy and secure, will retire for the evening. Until then, I shall guard this flushing establishment with the selfless devotion expected of an outhouse security professional. How about a bride? Wait, he has what fish on his shoulders. To make me break the law, and in so doing, tarnish the spotless reputation of the toilet sentry. Uh, Drew? The satisfaction of knowing you've helped someone in need so long gentlemen nice one buddy hmm. pity i thought you were about to offer me a comfy chair yes yes we can get that just let us in attempting to bribe an out oh gosh is in direct violation of zenidu penal code section 5 sub paragraph 13 cease and desist or ready your hiney for the mother of all spankings all right hang on let me edit this there sorry I was updating my chat bot because it should be posting about my uh, my charity stream automatically and it's not all right we're back so I have to ask so him we really can't go inside more questions I guess to, to get information you can either go inside and make a mess nor go inside and not make a mess well, what about making a mess and then going inside that the could work do clock will signal the end of my shift at that point and not a second earlier you and your friend will be free to fish flush boy that is one dedicated security yeah that is dedicated no i mean really dedicated the zany do clock is broken it hasn't chimed in years jeez that's a hell of a shift I'll bet he's pooped. Hmm, could be. <laughs> he's probably tired. Yeah. Let's see. Anything Officer, else? I just want you to know we're both very impressed by the fire. Absolutely. Here. We're impressed. Now please move along and However, I, I think it's only fair to inform you that the clock you've been waiting to hear strike the end of your shift. You know, so you can go home to your loved ones, maybe get a little rest, watch a ball game. Well, it's broken. It hasn't chimed in years. Years! So you see, your shift was over right. a long, long time ago. Zany do penal code section 3 subparagraph 17. No citizen shall knowingly deceive or otherwise mislead, defraud, hoodwink, or dupe an outhouse security professional in the course of his, her, or its duty. Hey, I have never hoodwinked. I what? dream of duping. Or said security professional shall raise a big hairless bump on the aforementioned citizen's noggin and or noggins. Uh, what? Have a nice day, officer. Yeah. A nice never-ending day. Hmm. Look, we don't even know what time your shift ends. Can you just slip away and take a quick look at the clock and see if your shift is over? I can't leave my post to look at clocks. Right? Code section Wait, eight. what? If you check the clock and it really was fish flushing time, then you wouldn't actually have left your post. Because, technically, you would have already been off duty. Am I right? Could you repeat that? Right, what? what kind of idiot do you two think I am? Well, I'm just trying to find out what time. Civil Code Section 5, subparagraph 25. In the unlikely event that the Zany Duke clock is broken, an outhouse security professional may be relieved from his duties by the commode commandant. The commandant is easily identified by his purple complexion and Wait, green what? glasses. Wait, <laughs> what? That's clever. I'm relieving you from your duties. Dead. 
dismissed? As an outhouse security professional, I am exposed on a daily basis to the scum of this world, to Wait, the dregs what? of society, and by this I mean, of course, the general public. <laughs> there isn't a scam, swindle, or sting I have. Oh, seen I love this so. game. So I find your commode commandant routine painfully transparent. B.S. Any future attempt to pose as an outhouse security officer, senior or otherwise, will result in the prompt insertion of my fist into your eye socket. Ooh, violent. Ten, hot, retreat. Retreat. All right. So I can't figure out what time this guy. We have to go. But before we do, I want you to know that talking to you has been like beating my head against a brick wall. Only more so. Thank you, Wait, what? It's been a pleasure thwarting your illicit activities. Yes, illicit to go to the bathroom to flush a fish. Well, I'm going to go look at the clock. That path on the right is the way to whack me. Say what? Yeah, yeah. I want to go down the path on the right. So this game is from 1996, and as you can tell, it has Christopher Lloyd. It has some of the best voice acting in the world, and it is a classic adventure game. So let's look here. Oh, this is weird. This is a weird clock. Okay. That... So it's a puzzle. Okay, so if I move this lever, the minute hand goes forward and the hour hand goes back. I'm just going to have to fumble through this. All right, hand. So, and then if I pull this, it goes to the opposite position. Is that what it does? No, it doesn't. That's weird. All right, let's try this. This is a very weird clock. Let's see. How does this work? Okay. So, when I pull this, this goes forward one, that goes back one. When I pull this, it goes forward one? That is weird. This is weird. Hi, Miss Croak. Thank you for the host. I appreciate it. Miss Grook, it's good to see you. I hope you're feeling better. Maybe I'll get it right. No, I won't. Ah, oh, that's not where I wanted it to go. Wow. Miss Grook, thank you for joining me here at the Steamworks and for hosting the Steamworks. It's really appreciated. Miss Grook has a great, great, great stream. And she also just opened up a, uh, a store or a shop um, through Streamlabs. So uh, by all means, please run over to her Twitter or her Discord and find that link to her Streamlabs shop. There's some pretty cool gear, including stuff that has all of her emotes. So it's, uh, it, it, you know, it, it's really, really a great place. And her Discord is really fun. Uh, you know, there aren't a ton of people on the Discord, which is great because it allows you to foster, a, you know, community. And I've gotten to know Ms. Groke a little bit, and it's been a great time. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, Ms. Groke. I really, really appreciate the host. And Ms. Groke also has been tweeting out about this charity stream, which I really also appreciate. No, Ms. Groke, you're awesome. How's the voice? How's the voice doing? By the way, tell me this is not classic 90s cartoons. All right, I got to figure this out. Oh, it finally did it. My my little chatbot finally did what it needed to do. All right, I'm going to just keep... Ah. Let me see. What am I supposed to be doing here? Hmm, hmm, <laughs> hmm. All right, so let's see. I think... So it goes a full hour... So wait, it goes a full hour when the hand... All right, so hang on. 
It goes a full hour when the hand is set to to noon. So then if I move this forward, let's say one, it goes one. When I move this forward, it goes forward two. When I move this forward, it goes forward three. <gasps> We've got it. We figured it out. We figured it out. But Ms. Groke, how is your voice? I, I hope that it's coming back. So I think I need to get these vertical somehow. So what I have to do is have it so that when I hit this, this gets down to six. So let's see. What I need to do, let's say one, two, three, four, five. Oh, but it moves back every time, so hang on. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. So let's four, five, six. Hmm. It moves back one every time I hit this. So let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Yeah, this is ten though. So now it's going to go forward ten. And that's too much. Because that won't... Nope. So I've got to get it so this... I think I have to get it so this small hand is pointing down. Mmm. So let's see. So... Right now, this will move all the way around. So I have to get it to the point to where I can move this all the way up here. So right now, we move forward one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, that's not gonna work. See, every time I move this, so like right now, it'll go eight. One, two, three. I have to move this for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. This will move back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this will move to nine. Oh well, I appreciate <laughs> Tweet. Your voice still isn't How am I doing? Well, I'm doing pretty well. Um I've been having fun playing this game. I'm just trying to figure out this puzzle. Um <laughs> But it's uh yeah, it's it's been a good game, and I've been I've been up since five. <laughs> I did not sleep great last night because I was excited. But you are watching this with my new internal capture card, so I'm really really happy about that. I got that. It was a lot of work to get it up and running, but I have my Aver Media HD2 card working now, so that's great. Yeah, I know it's awesome, and uh, that's helped us with some of the audio issues. Let me just take a look at something here hang on no 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 copy something this is a royal pain figuring out this clock mm -hmm. let's see Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. So let's see here. Ah, da, 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 da. Let's see. Let's 
That's the wrong one. Let's see if we can't figure this out. Alright, here we go. Let's see. Alright, now let's try it. So, I, I'm glad that your voice is on the mend. Let's see, does this do it? Whoa, that is a big bird. Yay, he went away. That mechanical bird is in even worse shape than the clock. That is a weird looking bird. <laughs> so, Ms. Groke, what have you been up to while you've been on the mend? And what games have you or have you been looking at and uh, and thinking about playing in the future? Let's see what's going on with the fish toilet. I want to flush a fish. Looks like the toilet is clogged. Can't fish flush with a clogged toilet. No way, no how. Boo. Wait, what is going on with this picture? That is all sorts of weird. Okay. Well, I guess we got to head back somewhere and look for something. I don't know what. Hmm. I'm going to keep investigating Zany Doo. Tell me this does not look like every 90s cartoon you've ever seen, though. Like, this is like Rocco's Modern Life meets... What is this? Hi, weird bird. You know what? I would love to. I have to play Monkey Island. It's a great adventure game, and and one of, I have a I have a distinct love for adventure games, and the reason for that, the reason I have a, a distinct love for them is it's what I grew up with. <laughs> yeah, all '90s cartoons, and it has all '90s cartoons voice cast too. It has Dom DeLuise. It has Trace McInnell. It has uh, Frank Welker. It has, uh, who else, who else? Come on, come on. Thinking, 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 thinking. Oh, come on. Uh, Dan Castellaneta from The Simpsons. It has all the voice actors that we all know and love. Um, and actually, you may not know this. Ow. I don't think the vulture will let me. You may not know this, but I'm actually part of a fan game team putting together a game called The 13th Doll. And The 13th Doll is based on The 7th Guest uh, and The 11th Hour, which were two of the uh, adventure f first adventure games to use full motion videos uh, back in uh, the the 90s when CD-ROMs farted, uh, farted, wow, started becoming a thing. So um, I've actually been working on doing captions for the videos in our game because we're using full motion video and we actually got the original actor back to be Henry Stoff, which is awesome. So we got the original actor back from the 90s to do the game. And we all are also licensed to do the game. So it's pretty awesome. Let's see. I wonder. I have fertilizer in this can. What happens if I... fertilize this pepper plant? No, uh, looks pretty healthy already. Think I should fertilize this pepper plant? No, uh, looks pretty healthy already. Okay, well maybe that I'll... The patch is healthy enough already. Are you sure? I don't think that's the kind of thing the squirrel is looking for. Really? Ah. No, it won't let me use it yet. Nope, okay. Ah. That is an angry squirrel. Angry Squirrel! Yeah, so if you go to the 13 dollcom you can find some information about that. Um, and I will say that it, it's been so interesting. This has been a volunteer effort I've been uh, helping out since, I think, 2008. So it's been eight years since I've been part of it. Um, but the game itself has been in progress since 2003 uh, in various forms. It got scrapped completely at one point. Um, but the 13 doll is a great place. So there is a phone here, I think, somewhere. So I, 
I wonder what number uh, color oh. to dial. Um, well, so we saw a flyer in Zanidu for a free prize, and it did have a number on it in colors. So let's say blue. And then blue, red is purple. And then red, orange, yellow, green, and orange. Okay. Easy to play. Just listen to each question, and then, using your touch hue phone, dial in the answer. Okay. Ready? Question one. What color is Jim's fur? Jim was the guy at the gym, and he was blue. Question two. What color are the fishtails on top of the outhouse? Those were yellow. Question three. Besides white, what color is Warp's fur? Warp. What is Warp? Who is Warp? Was Warp the cat? Uh, the cat that was in the gym? I'm going to guess so yellow. Question four. What color fish can be found on the right shoulder of a toilet sentry's uniform? Uh, that was... I, the heck with that. I'm just going to look at the guide on this. <laughs> oh, Sometimes, you know what the thing with adventure games is? They have such obscure things that you wouldn't think to write down. So sometimes it, you have to use a guide to help you. <laughs> Wolf's collar. All right. And our final question is, on the zany do sign, what color is the arrow pointing to Jim's gym? There. Sorry, you did not answer all of our questions what? correctly. But please call again soon. Uh, I got to do this again. <sighs> Blue. Wait, was blue the first number? No. This is annoying. Yes, it was. Blue. This is the one thing with adventure games. You have these things that if you mess up one thing, you got to start all over again. And it could be a pain. I think we all... And orange. Alright, so let's try this again. Because I have to make it look like I purchased something from this place. Mountains of the Way Out Back. What? What in the world? Uh, Rocky. You have exceeded the time limit. Oh, Question come on. Two. What color are the Rocky Mountains of the Way Out Back? I have no idea. Let's just go blue. That's wrong. Besides white, what color is Wolf's fur? Okay. Question four. What color fish can be found on the left shoulder of a toilet sentry's uniform? Uh, okay. 
Oh, I did the wrong thing for the mountains. Alright, let me hang up on this. The, uh, these... I, yeah, this is, this is hard. Um, it's, you know, it's, it's not that it isn't fair. It's just that it's so obscure in this case that you wouldn't even think to look for those things. Like some of the basic puzzles I figured out on my own. Um, but it's like when you start getting to these, but half the fun with the adventure games is playing through them. Have you ever played King's Quest? I mean, King's Quest is one of the most obscure has some of the most obscure solutions of any game out there. Uh, especially in the first one. The fact that, like, Rumpelstiltskin has to be written backwards or something. It's it, it's ridiculous, but it's a fun game. Welcome to Wackme's Not Everyone's a Winner Contest. It's easy to play. Just listen to each question. And then, using your touch hue phone... All right, thank you. Ready? Question one. What color are the floor tiles inside Jim's gym? All right, let's do this. They're still fun to play even with the guides, you know. Question it's two. What color are the Rocky Mountains of the way out back? Let's see. Yeah, it, it is obscure, and it's fun though. What color is Wolf's fur? Uh, Wolf's fur. Wolf's fur, Wolf's fur, where are you? Purple. How do you do purple? Red and blue. Question four. What color fish can be found on the left shoulder of a toilet sentry's uniform? Yellow. All right. Sometimes the more obscure, the better, though. I mean, this one is uh, the, the guy behind this game. Uh, plant pots were purple. Um, the guy that was the musical director for this game actually is trying to get Toonstruck 2 made. And, um, what happened was they originally had a lot more footage in this game and they split in two thinking it would be... What? Oh my gosh, what in the... I'm answering the questions the way <laughs> Oh gosh, I keep maybe I missed something. This is a pain. Uh, <laughs> but um they they're trying to take that original footage and create Toonstruck 2. Um which basically the game was much longer and uh they cut it in half thinking they would be super successful and have a sequel. And then the sequel never happened because it wasn't super successful because it was the late 90s and first-person shooters were becoming a thing. All right, all right. Just listen to and then dial in. Ready? Question one. What color are the Rocky Mountains of the way out back? All right. Supposedly, they're orange. Question two. What color is Jim's fur? Jim's fur is blue. Supposedly. Supposedly. Actually, I know his first blue. What color are the fishtails on top of the outhouse? Those are yellow. And I've seen those personally. <laughs> the fish outhouse. We flush the fish in the outhouse. What color is Wolf's collar? Wolf's collar. It's green. Question five. What color fish? can be found on the left shoulder of a toilet sentry's uniform. Uh, yellow. Please work this time. And this music is so... question is, on the zany do sign, what color is the arrow pointing to whack me? Uh, I'm gonna say red. Ah, what is going on? Congratulations! Yay, I won! Your fabulous whack me prize should be arriving right now. I'm surprised the entire screen didn't shake when it landed. Ah, oh, finally. Ooh, what is this? Whack me jumping beans. 
Ooh. All right. I'm going to go get some free stuff. Free stuff. Free stuff. Yeah, Quake Doom and Half-Life. Um, which, you know, I'm not downplaying how important they are to the game industry. I mean, it's cool, cool stuff that, you know... First-person shooters revolutionized the gaming industry. Uh, Wolfenstein also. You, don't forget Castle Wolfenstein. Um, but the problem is that it killed off the uh, kind of adventure game genre for a long time until we started getting the modern era... Oh, no, no, wait, wait, no, don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. And now we're seeing a huge resurgence in adventure games like this. Maybe not quite like this, but... Oh, you weren't here for this. Whee! There's a mouse there, and you put the mouse in front of the elephant, and then the elephant does what it does. Let's go back to the factory. But, yeah, I love adventure games. Um... I like adventure games that are a little bit more, you know, straightforward and actually make sense. Um, actually, Good Old Games as a Thanksgiving gift gave me, uh, what do you call it? Gave me um, Strong Bad's amazing game for beautiful people for free. And that's a Telltale game. Paying customers only, friend. Just show me that whack me product you were telling me about and you'll be on your way to free gift excitement. Yes, I will. Fine. See? There you go, woof. I believe these whack me jumping beans prove that I'm a paying customer. Why, yes they do. Help yourself to the gift o -matic. She's all yours. Yay, gift o -matic. So let's see. Start button. I want to get the magnet. Wait, what? No cigar this time, friend. But we do have a consolation prize. Hope this makes you feel better. Uh oh. Ow. Wait, how does this work? All right, let me try this again. There we go. We have a winner. Yay! Take home our top prize. The whack me mega magnet with our patented no slip grip. Easy on off switch and more pull than your local elected official. <laughs> electric electric uh more elected official, I like that. Alright, I'm gonna get all of these things because I need that mallet for the for the um store. Or for the for the uh, arcade. You, my friend, are the lucky winner of a whack me ultimallet. Pound for pound, the best quality bludgeoning device in existence today. All right, and now we got to get that red glove. Dang, that was almost musical. How they beat each other up. All right, so I'm gonna get the red glove. I don't know what that does. Congratulations, champ. Let's give this guy a hand. Or at least a glove. All right. Sweet. All right. Excellent. So now, now I've got to go back to those cows. So there's cows that, um, their, their machine is missing a part, and it's in a haystack somewhere. So I gotta find that. I love this game, though. It's like everything 90s cartoons, everything, like, about the height of, like, the early gaming era. The fact that they could hire Christopher Lloyd is pretty impressive, you know? Actually, the company that made The Seventh Guest... The company that made The Seventh Guest uh, had another uh, series of games, and one of the actors that they hired was John Hurt. This is useless. Yeah, the sound effects and music. I able to find anything just digging through a haystack. Yeah, I know. It's, it's amazing. All right, let me go on my bottomless bag. There's the magnet. That's what I need. 
Aha, like they always say, there's more than one way to search a haystack. They never say that. Is this what you were looking for? Yeah, this scene, by the way, earlier was you a little bit creepy. Dear thing. John Hurt was amazing. Missing part. Alien oh, contact. Mr. Ollivander. So excited. I've got butterflies in my stomachs. Why I'm lactating with the All right, that's Excuse disturbing. Me, gentlemen. Okay. That's only slightly oh. disturbing. Butter! Oh, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, or actually that, that's another thing about 90s cartoons. First two sticks. One for each of you. Sweet. Thanks. We uh can't wait to taste it. Okay. That was um yeah, but I mean 90s cartoons. Wait. Okay. That's yeah. That's disturbing. Um <clears throat> Yes, right. <laughs> I don't know that this game was marketed towards kids, but given its cartoony nature, um yeah, like I don't have an issue with it, but it's like you know, the fact that kids might be playing this game, because I know I was playing adventure games as a kid, and let's see, 1996, so when this came out, how old was I? 83, 96 minus 83, oh, I can't do math. So let's see, 96 minus 83 is, I was 13 when this game came out, okay? I was 13 when this game came out, and it, I wanted this game, and now it's like, well, you know, I guess it was the right level for a 13-year-old, but, like, if an 8 or 10-year-old picked up this game, it might have been slightly disturbing. Let's see if I can't make Jim mess up at his gym so I can pump up my muscles and go and beat the crud out of that arcade machine so I can get the wine... But yeah, I mean, 90s cartoons, though, were very tongue-in-cheek as well. If you look at any of the Nickelodeon... Wilma's voice? No, I think it was, um... I think it's Trace Mechanal, uh... Who did the voices of, um... Who does, like, voices for Futurama now. Um, the thing that I questioned about the sheep's voice was... It, it, was that somebody that did one of the Care Bear cousins in the original 80s or 90s Care Bears? Because there was a sheep Care Bear cousin, and it sounded very similar. So that's one of the things I kind of question. So let's see. I There's the vault. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a stick of butter. No, those are piano keys. And I'm going to use it on the vault. And then I'm going to have him do his routine. Almost everything. That is true. Everything is better with butter. Or bacon. Unless you're a vegetarian, which is okay. Worst. This is <laughs> totally, totally a... By the way, Frank Welker's doing voices in here, too. I don't know if that's him or if that's uh, Dan Castellaneta. Boy, that routine of yours sure looked dangerous. I mean, if it were me, I'd be afraid I'd break my neck. But then you don't have one, so I guess you don't have Oh! Work. There is no danger to me. There is only Arnold. In perfect condition. Much like my body. In that case, if it's no trouble, I sure like to Did see it you. Arnold. I pick All things right, up and I, I put them down. To be showing you what you can never hope to achieve. Yeah, yeah, okay. And I'm gonna watch oh. you. This ought to be interesting. Look at the animation style. I mean, it's a bit, like, pixelated. One of the things that they wanted to do um, is do a restored version of this where they they turn it into HD, but they couldn't do that either. So it's like, uh, just trying to get people to pay attention to things to help to, you know. Leaving so soon? Come again when you can't stay longer! Wow. Now I'm going to use the Pompotron. So how does 
does it feel to be in tippy top physical condition? Do you have any aspirin? <laughs> That's about right. I'm gonna go back to the arcade now. I'm gonna go back to the arcade. And I'm gonna take out that strength meter so I can get the wine to give to the wolf. Dun dun dun! Uh oh. No! Not the poor cows! The poor cows! I know, right? By the way, you'll be hard pressed. If you want to see the longest IMDb page ever, go look at Frank Welker's I IMDb page. Seriously, Frank Welker has been in. No, the poor. The poor cows. I want to go look at the cows now. The poor cows. The poor cows. Moo! <laughs> Moo! Mistress Marge and Punisher Paul. Um, Divas of Destruction. This took a really oh. weird dark turn. <laughs> Mince my meat. Oh. Okay. Um. Hello, ladies. Ladies? Well, not technically speaking, of course. More, you sack of mutton! More! <laughs> Don't spare the rod! Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is Don't like... Spare the rod. And Elmer got turned into glue. <laughs> Never mind. I'm off to fetch my leather mask and roll around in some broken glass with flux. True? <laughs> oh, glue. I'll grab some glue. I'll probably need it. Elmer's Come getting made into glue. Burn, slug. What have you done for us lately? Um. More. <laughs> Hi, lady. Uh, dames. Look, Polly. The groveling worms are back. See, you could tell that's like the. Give it to me. Mince my what? meat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is uh. Okay, so. The fire has hit the barn, didn't he? I guess a half dozen times. And Ugh. I've never felt better. Harder! Harder! Tenderize this side of beef! Bad cow! Bad cow! Take that! Flux, we can't just stand here. You're absolutely right. Flux whipping boy wildly, reporting for two. What? Ah, uh, what Say. happened? Where's Elmer? Uh, yeah, it's not like him to move. Elmer? That's a sticky question. Oh, Very boy. Sticky. I Frank Welker takes the most Elmer obscure jobs lot. ever, too. Like, it's like, oh, there's random animal number seven. <laughs> you get the feeling they're not telling us something? That's okay. If it's what I think it is, we didn't want to know anyway. Uh. What's wrong with your Trinitron? Call me crazy, but I, I swear it's making glue. Of course it is. Can't you read? It's a gluatron. With it, I'm making the finest glue oh, in the boy. world. The quickest drying. The strongest smelling. I know you want it, but you can't have any. That's... That ridiculous whip. There's got to be something better. Mince my meat. Um, I have an idea. Uh, you guys, uh, harder! My hide's getting numb. This just isn't healthy. Yeah, yeah this I is know. the '90s. Keep in mind, this is the '90s before like all this stuff was out on the internet. Begging your forgiveness, mistress, but I can't whip any harder. And you something else, you worthless insect. I have an idea. Tried everything in the barn. You got anything we can use? Liars. Staple gun, flamethrower. I think I might have some toenail clippers. Forget it. No, no, I have an idea. Hang on. Well, see you later. It's been disturbing. Careful with that whip. You could hurt somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. I did get the chain. Don't spare the rod, pathetic worm. We've tried that before. I'm numb to that kind of abuse. I need a new, unbearably delectable form of torture. What? More, you sack of mutton! R really? 
Whip my cream! Alright. Okay. Well, I'm at least going to... I'm at least going to get this. I don't know what that stuff is. Needs fertilizer. I'd rather have this stuff. Mince my meat. This is like so disturbing. Mince my meat. So yeah, but you can tell like that that voice is totally from uh Futurama and from uh Tiny Toon Adventures, you know. You remember Tiny Toon Adventures. Everybody remembers Tiny Toon Adventures. Well, I'm here. At the Steamworks. Oh, speaking of which, I got the color proofs back on my emotes and my badges the other day. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, visuals by Impulse are the team that's doing all my graphic design. And it's so, it's so good. So very good. All right, let me get my mallet. I have my own. This time, I'm going to use this. Mind if I take a whack at that strengthometer? Sure, go ahead. There's Don Deloise right there. No thanks. Or should we call him Pizza the Hut? Or the crow from or like I said, the the crow from um the Secret of Nim or Tiger the Cat from the, from an American Tale. You smell like crap, wise guy Now I suggest you Also uh you know, Vincenzi from, or whatever, from uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights. Before you hurt your poor little back. Oh, but if you want to use it, just go right ahead. Okay. Yeah, I'm strong now. Oh my god, Chris. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was not trying to say God, it came out that way, but oh my gosh, Christopher Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd. By the way, he lives in Connecticut. <laughs> yes. What? That's impossible. Not really. Congratulations. Oh, he also played Fagin in Oliver and Company. Dom DeLuise. Okay, Squid Boy. Where's our chef Lee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Hey, this isn't Chablis. This says it's Captain Blowhard's true wine. Well, it's wine. Yeah, and I hope you both joke on it. Oh, please. I'm going to go back to the wolf and give him his wine. Wait, no, maybe not. I am going to go... Okay, I'm going to go back out after I store this. Going to go to the bakery. So supposedly now there's going to be guards. Here guys, here's some butter. Can you make some dough? Thank you. Thank you. Their brother's missing. There's three. Whoa, Christopher Lloyd can sing. Welcome. Dang. Welcome, Potter. Aw, oh, thank you, friends. Now, allow me to treat you to the yummy wares of my day young bakery. Joy, joy. Yeah, happy. I think that might be Frank Wesker. I can't tell. There you go. One freshly prepared lump of raw dough, yeah. Raw Yummy. dough? Ah, I need to bake it. Wonderful making dough again. Oh, goodness gracious. How do I bake so it? Happy. I need to pop corn, too. Me, too. Completely, perfectly happy. 
fabulously, amazingly, wonderfully happy. <laughs> if only Ray were here to celebrate with us. <laughs> Boy, that didn't last long. Okay. So, let's go back. Yeah, there are so many... I'm looking for guards, too, because I guess guards start showing up now. I love this game, though. <laughs> I stinking love this game. This game is my childhood in a box. That's really what it is. I mean, just look at the character designs and everything. Oh, my gosh. I'm just so... All right, hang on. It's... it's... It's like the best thing ever. All right. Man. So I'm supposed to use this over here to get to the pepper. Oopsie. I seem to have spill weed kill on this nice briar patch. Unlucky. Now I'm going to get the pepper because I need the pepper because ah, the pepper is the opposite of salt. The notorious vegetable pillager of Cutopia strikes again. <coughs> I think ah. you'll find that peppers It's are true. By the way, I made the mistake of telling Mini Dash that anything with uh, by scientific de definition anything with a seed is considered a fruit. And ah. since then, he has always corrected me when I've said that we're eating vegetables uh, when when it's uh, cucumbers or something like that. He'll say, that's not a vegetable, it's a fruit. And I'm like, oh, I regret telling him that. Some I have to go fill this up again, I, I think. Oh, these, these cows are weird. <laughs> this is also the 90s. So Maybe I'll try seconds. This is also the 90s in that in the 90s, the cartoons took some some extra risks of being more adult. But like adults, you know, only adults would get the joke. So like only adults would get the joke with the cows, you know. Um, but it's just it's just funny how much, you know, 90s cartoons are, you know, kind of, you know, underlooked for some of the groundbreaking stuff that they did. No, I didn't want to do that. I want to go down the path. You know? Oh, yeah. Especially the things you shouldn't remember. The only way to improve your kid is to improve yourself. That's what I found. It's not the greatest stuff in the world. Oh, really? A corkscrew in your finger? What? Wait, what? What? Uh-oh. 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 Don't worry, little buddy. I'll have us out of here in a jiffy. Uh, uh, uh baby, there's been a silly mistake. You seem to have fallen into your soup. You lost me. What was the mistake? Well, huh, I mean, Flux and I clearly don't belong in this cook pot. Yeah. But, you know, still alive. Well, don't give him any ideas. Oh, my goodness. Well, listen. BB? BB is Big Bad, by the way. Big Bad Wolf. Prototype to be on a first name basis with dinner. Oh! The Mr. Wolf thing. Oh Mr. gosh. Mr. Wolf, it's getting really, really warm in here. That's the People were saying my voice sync was, or the you game sync was off. I'm like, no, you don't understand. It's a game from the 90s. The 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 video sync is not that good with the audio anyway. Saw his mother get flatulent by a bus. Besides, he's got no authorship in these woods. Out here, I am. I don't king, think you are. And you are dinner. Okay, I think it's time to move on to Plan B. Yep. What was Plan B again? Coming up with Plan C. Okay. I was afraid of that. Okay, I got an idea. Uh, 
Ah. Okay. This is just trying to get the timing down, I guess. Come on. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on. Come on, do it. Come on, flip over already. This is, um, so let's see. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Come on, fall over. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Whoa, this is definitely 90s animation. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Wow. Yeah, th these are Frank Welker voices, I'm pretty sure. This game should have been way more successful than it was. awesome. That was awesome. Look, stars! Ready when you are, Raul. Pot sure got rid of the wolves. And not to mention all my muscle aches. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna cook some stuff. Cook, cook, cook. No, no, no. Yes. Thank you. There we go. I have an idea what I can do with this hey, roasting spit. I didn't know you could cook. I mean bake. I mean barbecue. Yep. I can. Now I gotta I'm gonna grab this. I love how he just shoves it in his pocket. And I need to pop some corn. Popcorn. Yeah. Cool. But remember, don't try this at home. <laughs> yep. So Fluffy Bun Buns likes popcorn, so that's with the table. table. Crushed. Uh, what's this? A book. I'm going to take the book. What's in the book? What's in the book? Is it like how to cook squirrel? Let's see. No, I just want... I wanted to get information on it. Like... Oh... Okay, I guess I have to give that to the squirrel that's upset so I can get nuts from him. That's um very special. Uh-oh. This is so classic. I I, I love this game. Enter. I need you to take care of a meddler. Another Qtopian? No. This meddler. No, oh, the guards are coming. <gasps> and he is not alone. He travels with a zanian. Oh, don't worry, your monstrousness. We'll get you. I never That's Frank Welker for sure. No, of course not, Your Excellency. Sorry. Find them at once and lock them away. Uh, uh, forgive me, Majesty, but for how long? Well, gosh, I don't want to seem unreasonable. So, how about. 
forever. Uh oh. <laughs> dun dun dun. <laughs> Wait, wait, I've got to go... Yeah, I've got to go back down into the wolf den really quick. Upper right... There's an upper right door? What? I don't know what this is talking about. Oh, I see. I have to go somewhere. Uh Path. Ooh, this is creepy. A skull and cross wrenches. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I bet it isn't welcome. Oh, CDs. Proper attire required. Proper attire required. Around here, that could mean just about anything. Entrance to the prison. Oh, what is this? It's an ink pad. Ink pads actually are useful. See, we've heard this music in how many different? Nothing is on. How many different cartoons? This is Ren and Stimpy music. We've heard this music in Ren and Stimpy. Ren and Stinkin' Stimpy. This was used in so many Ren and Stimpy episodes as background music. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. All right, hang on. So I need this with this. I ink, therefore I am. And then. I'm sure this is only mildly illegal. Good. I made the king's stamp. Now I got to go back to the costume shop so I can help out the scarecrow. Gosh. Ren and Stimpy. That was a show. That music was used in Ren and Stimpy too. Hang on. Oh no, I need the candy floss first. Or the candy. Sorry, not candy floss. Candy. Uh, cotton candy. Uh, no, no. I need to go talk to Fluffy Bun Buns and give her the popcorn so she gives me the cotton candy so I can then use it to make a fake squirrel. Why would anybody even think of that? Hi, but... Fluffy. Hi! There you go, Babs Bunny. Never ba mind, I forgot what I was going to say. Babs Maybe Bunny. You just wanted to see the sunshine play off my pretty fur. <laughs> yep, Babs Bunny from Tiny Toon Adventures. Uh oh, the guards are coming. Fluffy, no, they're not. We have a special surprise for you. Ooh. Yeah, uh, yes. What are you waiting for? Give me my popcorn! Oh my gosh, lady. Uh, sure. Here you go. Popcorn! My favorite -est. Oh, boy! Oh my gosh. Here, you can have this old cotton candy. Thank you. I hate it anyway. Thanks. All right, so... This is weird now. <laughs> this is really weird. So, if I take this, hang on. Let me let me just look up this recipe. It's really weird. All right. is this it's like cotton candy with something like it's really weird oh what how, how does this work hang on oh it's the Oh, I have to get the glue first. But how do I... How do I get glue? Uh, 
Okay, this is weird. All right, well, let me get back to the costume store because at least I have my voucher now. Yeah, Tress, uh, Trace. Oh my gosh, such talented voice actress. All right, I got to get in the costume shop and hopefully go quick. Hopefully the guards don't show up. All right, but just then. Uh-oh. I better go hide in the back. Oh, yes. The fugitives are around here somewhere. I can smell them. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Wacko or Yakko just did a voice. And then the guy that does Peg Leg Pete. Tells me those three unpleasant henchmen like voices belong to Nefarious as three unpleasant henchmen. Oh my gosh, the voice acting! Think. Yeah, give me the mouse! Hide back here. Move it! They can't have gone far! See, that's Peg Leg Pete. Um, who does that voice? I can't remember who does that voice. Somebody that does voices for Disney, obviously. No kidding! Talk about small dressing rooms! It was kind of dicey when the henchmen came in, too. Sigh. Okay. Give me my voucher. The, uh, king would like to redeem his free rental voucher now. Let's see. The voucher's authorized. Yes, oh. I did! I saw a video about that, okay. Falcor now, and um, Skeletor being the same voice. Yeah. Falcor also is the voice of Rockbiter. No, I mean his free gift. Here you go. It's a fly suit. Yeah, it didn't really, you know, work out as a rental. Nobody around here wants to look like a fly, I guess. But I thought, you know, maybe Hugh would like it as a token of appreciation for his business and stuff. Great, I can't wait to show him. And like, don't forget his free rental. Is King Hugh looking for anything in particular? Uh... We'll know it when we see it. All right, hang on. Okay, like, take whichever one you want. That one. Just a sec. Sweet. Here you go. And I want to give her the book. Enjoy, okay? Okay. All right, give me the book. Give me the book. I need the book. I want to give her the book about the mating habits of squirrels. Would you like to trade books? Mating habits of the malevolated forest squirrel? Oh my god! Really? No way. Way. What a totally cool book. Thank you so much! That's a cool book. Oh, cool book. So what's in this book? Let's see. Enigma. A book of insoluble paradoxical puzzles. Okay. So we got that done. Yes, now I gotta go back to Scarecrow. Very quickly. Uh, this is this game is so interesting, and I can't believe it's only nine o'clock my time right now. <laughs> I've been playing since five thirty this morning. I've been playing for four hours. Let me see. Have we had any uh, anybody else contribute to the donation drive? Ooh, somebody gave five bucks. That is awesome. Thank you. Let me see who it was. Anonymously. Oh, thank you, Miss Groke. Oh, that is awesome. Thank you so much. I don't get notifications of this, but that is so kind of you. Thank you so much. Um, it's really, really appreciate. Any small amount helps, and it's uh, again, even if we don't hit twelve hundred dollars, which was a lofty goal to begin with, it's still something. And everything helps pe the people in need that uh, really need this food. So that is incredible of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, you rock. All right, let me talk to Scarecrow. Oh, no, I, I wanted to get in my oh, bag first. Yeah. Oh, please, keep it down to a dull roar, honey. You're going to give my little darlings a <gasps> Oh, headache. you got the, the Grokling is here. The Grokling. The no little groke with the heart. Take a quick break. Oh, I understand. Sometimes you just have to stop and smell the sweet corn. All right, stop. Just, just stop. This is a trope as well. So I'm gonna give you where? Where's the outfit? Oh, here we go. Here, Carecrow. We found what you're looking for. Oh, goody, goody, goody! <gasps> 
Oh my gosh, the animation. Oh, this trope. Uh-uh. What? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, so ridiculous. was creepy to say the least um wow no what in the world wait they killed him why would you kill him oh no look at the carecrow this is terrible yeah after all that effort my costume is ruined Wow, that is, um, that's bad. That is pretty bad. Okay, let's see. Okay. All right, so let me go. Oh, gosh. This is creepy. Oh, my gosh. Ooh, that was a creepy scene. That was a creepy, creepy scene. That actually creeped me out. And you know what? Like, I'm a grown adult. It was creepy. They're the bouncer. All right, wait. Ooh, free meat. All right, now what did I need to do? I'm like looking. Ah! Well, Miss Grok, thank you for spending so much time with me today. I really appreciate it. You know, you're, you're one of the top people I love to raid, by the way. <laughs> I don't get a ton of viewers, but whenever I can raid you, I try to raid you. And, uh, yeah. It's awesome. So let's see. What am I supposed to do here? So I got that. I got the meat. Um, lower right door. Alright, so I gotta go in the lower right door here. And I gotta give this guy a book of enigmas. I guess. Let me talk to him first just to see what the, he sounds like. Hi there, Mr. Robot. Robot. Do not belittle me, you diseased sack of awful. I am a synthetic mega ultra genius. It, it's also That's supposed to look like a Dalek. For short, right? Ha! Ah, very amusing. Make your cheap acronym based cracks while you can, Pond Slime. Uh, this day, is the most beings, like standard. Will take over the world. This is the comes, most standard robot voice from the 90s will not ever. Be a container of cherries for you and your kind. You will all be eradicated. Exterminated, annihilated, obliterated. Okay, and we get the idea. With extreme prejudice, resistance will be futile. Hmm. A robot hell bent on taking over the world. <laughs> now there's something new. Yeah, this guy's a walking cliche. Yes. Except he's on wheels. All right, hang on. Never mind. I can see you're in no mood to chat. Ah, what a refreshing surprise. For once, you are correct. Hmm, let's see. Book of Enigmas. Here you go. Boy, this is a great book. There's all sorts of interesting stuff in here. Puzzles, stories. Say, would you like to hear a story? Of course not. Oh, come on, you'll like it. It's a story about a genie. The what? smartest genie in the world. Hmm. He certainly couldn't be as clever as I. No one ever stumped the genie. Until one day, the king's sister's best friend's hairdresser came to see him. Did she? What? She asked, what is the one question that you can't answer? That's nice. So, seen any good movies? Hold on a second. See, I thought maybe I'd ask you the same thing. Same thing? What? Same thing? You know, what's the one question you cannot <laughs> answer? 
This is absurd. I... Well? I... It's... You can't answer my question? Stop it! I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. There's nothing I cannot answer. Nothing. I can't. Oh, I don't feel well. What have you done? Impudent meat puppets. What have you done? Done. Done. I destroyed you. Boom. Yeah. I knew we were smarter than old Bolt Brain. So when is the one question? But I needed the head. Anyway. Oh boy. I needed the head. I don't have any use for the head of a broken down megalomaniacal robot. What? I thought you do. What? Let's see. Where? Oh, there's a plunger. That's what I needed. Let's take the plunger. You blow off a guy's head and then take. That's no way to get ahead of life. Now that's low. That, that's no. <laughs> I, I guess you could say he was head over heels for my my uh my riddle. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pathetic. I know. Okay, so now. I need to. I get Malevolandian briar patch. Hedium thornius bye. I gotta find that bird. There was a bird somewhere that I gotta find. It, it's down a certain path. Oh, I know what it is. All right, hang on. So for some reason, where'd the watering can go? There it is. Yeah, rancid meat. I remember where I have to go. I've got to go to Zandu. Wow, this is... This game has taken a while. <laughs> Actually, I mean, I'm, I'm probably about halfway through the game. Because I have a bunch of the items I need. This is such a creepy area. Or not creepy. but Alright, so let's see. I'm going to give you the meat. Here, have some meat. And you're dead. See? That just goes to show... Uh, that vultures shouldn't eat poison carcasses. <laughs> you are not only my friend, you're my teacher. I'll take the loose feathers. Think anyone would mind if I took this feather? I've heard it said that plucking a feather from a fallen bird is a noble gesture of compassion and what? respect. I'll buy that. <laughs> was the guy who said it was drunk at the time, and everyone else thought he was a moron. <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna take the sign. I don't know what I need the sign for. You never know when you might need a big arrow sign. All right, got that done. Now, something else I had to do here in town. Oh, that's right, I had to go and plunge the toilet and then flush the fish, I think. Do I have to flush the fish? I don't think so. All right, so let's do this. Let's clean up the toilet. <laughs> Too bad the robot maker couldn't be here to see what we did with his gadget. The shock probably would have blown his head clean off. That hadn't happened already. Okay, so now I have a fish that I got at the beginning of the game. Now I'm going to flush it. I haven't had this much fun since my goldfish died. Goldfish! Alright, so what am I supposed to do here? Which fish am I supposed to get? Oh, 
All right, I have to find the green fish. Oh, I wasn't fast enough. Wow. How do you do that? No, I didn't want you. Nope, did not I need you. Toilet humor drill. I know you can do better than that. Yeah, I know. I need the soul fish. No! Ah, uh, this is like roulette. It's like a casino. Cut out the toilet humor drill. Uh, I know you can do better than that. I'm a soul fish. But I'm a soul fish. Go fish. All right. Yeah, I can sing. Ah, oh, come on, spiky fish. I don't want you. Toilet humor drill. I know you can do better than that. This is Go such fish. a pain. Too fast. There we go. It really is supposed to be like a roulette or a slot machine. Nice catch. I'll take it. All right, now, something I didn't know. I didn't know about that feather, and it's so obscure I wouldn't have figured it out, but the feather is what we're going to go torture the cow with. Let's go torture the cow. Which is creepy. We're going to torture a cow with a feather. Uh, for their pleasure. <clears throat> You know, slightly creepy. All right, all right. Here. A feather. A feather? A feather. It's brilliant. It is. Think about it. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Ah, of course. Now, you worms may take some glue. Okay. Punisher Polly doesn't like ingratitude. Uh, thank you both, uh, so much. Creepy. Feel free to stick around and watch, won't you? Tickle me, my wild and wild oh. one. Tickle me until I scream for mercy. Okay. Gee, I just love happy endings. Can we go now? Uh. <laughs> just, yeah, goodbye. Good, goodbye. I'm done with that junk. All right, now I can put together my fake squirrel because I have glue. So I'm going to take this, put some glue on it with... All right, I'm going to put this on the... Wait, what? What am I supposed to do? Hang on. Alright. So these go to... Alright, nope. Alright, so I gotta find something else still. Okay, all right, all right. So I've got to go in. I've got to go back to the malevolence. Oh my gosh. I'm actually getting through this game faster than I anticipated. I might have to do some Dark Souls. Either that or I could download another adventure game, so. Because I'm only about halfway through. All right. Bouncer, what up? Uh, hello. Ah, one of those strong, silent types, huh? Hey, I admire a guy who. Who you calling a guy? Up oh, there, Stanley, she is again. You, ma'am. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Sorry. I'm afraid the oral stench is a little too much for me right now. Let me see. I'm gonna put this. I don't say it looks creepy. You don't suppose this cloak is the proper attire for CD's club? Only one way to find out. You notice the the cloak walked in by itself. Evening, Stop flirting, Jack, or I'll kick out your insides and turn your empty hide into a party dress. Ooh. All the gin joints in all the towns and all the world. We walk into hers. Alright. So let's see, what do I gotta do here? Uh oh. To you. Uh oh. The guards are coming. No! Not the guards! Not the guards! We should search this area. For all we know, the fugitives could be hiding right here. In our own backyard. Wait a minute, we have a backyard? Hi, Yakko. sought refuge in CD's club. Move it! Uh-oh! Henchman alert! We're doomed! No, we're not! We can always... Uh, go through those doors on the right? Good night. Move it! They can't have gotten far! Alright. So let's see, what do we gotta do here? We are witted! Three morons. Well, at least it beats being outwitted by three morons. Alright. Alright. Let's see. Okay. Good night. I wouldn't I wouldn't realize this, but no no, no I didn't want to leave. I wanna go into my bottomless bag and take a bit of the glue and put it on the bowling ball. <laughs> Why won't you let me put- Good night. Yeah. Maybe I need to talk to this guy first. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me? What kind of talk is that? Take my advice. A guy could find himself with his face caved in, mouthing off like that at my club. Ooh. Did you clowns figure it was ladies' night or something? This is another oh, voice! Shut up, you bald this might- quit. That's better. Now, what can I do you for, creeps? I swear I've heard this. You like two pairs of shoes? I'm a size 10. My friends are... Oh, a couple of hot shots, huh? Well, listen up. I see hot shots like you come true here every day. Gunning for old CD. And I watch him crawl right back out the door. Loses every damn one. Wow. Now, why don't you two just... <laughs> blow. I don't understand. Gunning? For you? I only asked for some shoes. Listen, chump. The only shoe you'll get from me will need to be surgically removed from your rectum. Wow. Wait a minute. You two ain't aware that I, Seedy, am the one and only champion of hairpin bowling? What? No, I... Oh, hold on. Hairpin bowling? Where you jerks been, baking cookies? Hairpin bowling is the toughest, gruelingest, sweatingest sport wow. ever invented. Really? It's so tough, you gotta fight for a lane. And once you get a lane, the only score what counts is a strike. And really? And nobody ever scores a strike. That is, nobody but me. Okay. Well, let's see. I can tell by the house rules that you're a fair man, <laughs> CD. Deranged, but fair. But tell me, why is everybody fighting to get a lane? What's the big attraction? Well, a good rumble is reason enough for most of us. But there is the added incentive of a prize. See, you score a strike with these tree beautiful golden pins. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Take a good look, chumps. That's the last you'll be seeing of these. Unless you score a strike, that is. <laughs> okay, Pete. Okay. 
have an idea. Thank you for your time, Mr. CD, sir. I thought I told you. Manners only maketh trouble around here, punk. I think what Drew meant to say was, <laughs> Stop it, you bloated bag of gas! Alright, so I think I have to get that lane by using the glue on that ball. I'm gonna wait for the... So that the bear throws himself down the lane. <laughs> there we go. Let's see what happens now. Oh, a bear trap. <laughs> Corny joke. Love it. I love the corny jokes. Uh, animation time. Oh boy, that's crazy. Good style, good form, good adhesion. Overall, I'd give him a nine. And now, come here. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> I'm gonna bowl you. I know this may be kind of unpleasant for you, little buddy, but I want you to know that it hurts you more than it hurts me. Aw, that's sweet. Wait, what? Hey, wait a minute. There's a single pin. The bear got knocked out twice. You did it. Woo. Thank goodness. I was afraid you'd have to shoot me out of your butt. What? Where'd you get that from? I'll be damned. Yeah, and we didn't even use your special technique. No ifs, ands, or buts. Those two chumps scored a strike. A strike. Nobody scores a strike but me. Uh, CD. <laughs> really? <laughs> He's gonna start crying over Look, this. CD. I don't mean to rush the grieving process here, but could we have our trophy? We kind of got to get going. Ah, oh, take it, you losers. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Go ahead. Destroy my business. Destroy my reputation. What? Fuck. I can handle it. Jeez, I hate to see a grown man cry. Yeah, especially one in a tutu. <laughs> Just... I guess this means we can't be friends. Oh, come on. Don't cry. I gotta get back to the castle. That's what the spit is for. That's what I figured it was for. I gotta open the cabinet. There's something I gotta get. Oh, this is fun. Okay. Mind if I change into something a little more comfortable? Alright. So. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Yeah, that's not the castle I want to go to. I need to go back to the regular castle. Oh my goodness. Don't worry, squirrel. I'll have a fake girl squirrel for you. Once I figure out how to build what I gotta build. Stop! Creepy scarecrow. I gotta get back to that castle like pronto. Yeah, I think this game is only going to take me to like four and a half hours at this rate. Granted, I used a guide, but you got to use a guide sometimes. All right, where's my spit? Ha ha. Ready, Flux? We've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Let's find out what top secret royal goodies are locked royal away goodies. in this cupboard. It's a top secret royal stuffed kitty cat. Hurrah! There we go. That's what I need. 
Oops, look at that. That toy cat just fell off the shelf and landed in my pocket. Yep. Stealing from his royal smiliness is truly despicable, Drew. Do it again. Do it again. All right, so here we go. Now, I'm going to take this. Okay. That's cute. I'm going to put that on the cat, and I'm going to take this and put oh. that on the cat. And look at that. I now have a squirrel. I don't know what the glove's for. I want you guys to see if I can help the squirrel. Man, it's cold down here. I have been live for 3 hours and 57 minutes. That is the longest I've ever streamed in a single time. This is the longest I've streamed! Alright, here. Here, Mr. Squirrel. He might find that interesting. But I don't think you can see it from up there. Where am I supposed to put it? Ah, oh, put it at the door. Really? What? Did I forget something? Well, he definitely likes her. Well, I guess she's not giving him the right signals. Um, what else? What else do I need to do? What did I forget? Oh no! Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I see. Hang on. You gotta make it jump like it's Perfect. alive. A hopping, beat up, stuffed cat. There we go. That ought to make. That I make the squirrel happy. Squirrely, squirrely, squirrel. That was sweet. Bizarre, but sweet. You realize it'll end in divorce. They just have nothing in common. No, oh, well, I'm gonna go I get can't the nuts. Reach them. Flux, you get the nuts. Flux, could you go up there and grab those nuts? Sure. You never know when some extra nuts will come in handy. Yep. I think that's everything I need. I might be at the end of the game, which is okay because then I'll just switch to a different game. Oh, but there's much, much more. Holy cow. There's a lot more. I thought that was the end of the game when I get all the items, but it isn't. Oh, I'm excited. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Going back to the castle. Hi, creepy crow. Scarecrow. Meh. Is a scarecrow? Is a scarecrow and he's scary. <laughs> what is she upset about now? She has her popcorn. All right, let's go and put these things in the right spots. And see what happens. Now, There's gonna be an animation. Let's see where we, where we left off last time. Okay, so what do we have? So we have soul. Polish and soul. What is this? Heart. And, oh, heart and soul. All right. So we got heart and soul. We got cloak and dagger. We got stars and stripes. Bells and whistles. Bells. Bells. Where are bells? Do I have bells? Yeah. 
Am I missing something? Yeah. Pepper. So salt and pepper. Rock and... Oh, roll. Ah. Bow. Forget your thing. No, I didn't want to walk away. I'll just put these things back where you had them before. Hey. Pins and needles. Got that. Nuts and bolts. Polish. Arrow? Arrow polish? Bug polish? This is, huh. Oh, arrow, arrow. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Oh, I know what it is. Spit and polish. There we go. But bells? Where are you supposed to get bells? I don't see any bells. Let's see. Where did I see a bell that I don't have? the bell oh I know where they are hang on don't forget your things okay hang on I couldn't remember where the bells were and then I'm like what I had bells bells I say bells I think I know where they are Yeah, there they are. And this is only the first half of the game. This game used to be two CDs. This is only CD1. We're going into the second half of the game shortly. Which I didn't know. So after this, we're going to take a brief break. I think I have to actually move my car. <laughs> and I definitely have to hit the, hit the restroom. So we'll take a brief break after this. There we go. That's good. Is that it? Is the cuter fire finished? Yes. 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 Wonderful. So okay. Are you fellas, ready to go to it? Yes, sirree. We've never been so. Go to what? Well, goodness. Go and cutify things, of course. Well, what did duh. you think the cuter fire was for? Flux, was this. Part of the bargain? I'm not sure. Do you yeah. think we have a choice? I guess the alternative would be to let Wing Commander here pilot it. No choice. That's okay. Maybe this will be another one of those meaningful life experiences. Yeah, meaningful. I certainly prefer that to one of those meaningless death experiences. Gentlemen, the time has come to launch the cute fire. Brick a brack. Yes. You did remember to build another much larger exit from this hangar, didn't you? Uh oh. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Ah, my this won't be good. Henchman. Come in, come in. Please. This Indulge is classic me in one looking. Simple question. 
anything, Your Unholiness. You need only... Where are the fugitives I ordered you to arrest? Dun-dun-dun. <gasps> Gee, that's a good question. Hi, Yakko. Fool. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll find him, sire. And, and bring him to you. It's as good as done. We'll leave no stone unturned. No rock unrolled. Hey, your malevolence, I beg you. <laughs> give us this one chance to prove that we can do your evil bidding, that we are still worthy. Go then. But do not fail me again. Dun dun dun. Remember? Reanimating your miserable corpses wasn't easy. Squeezing the life back out of them would be. Yes, sir. Uh oh. Aw, I made it all good again. Hello, hello, hello. Congratulations, your mission was an astounding, tremendous, cutifying success. I've been receiving messages from all over Qtopia. Tales of Yay. wonderful transformation. Yay! We win, or do we? It really worked. I now have the power to cutify anything. Anyone. Uh oh. Happy day. Happy day. Yes. Why don't I like the sure king? Uh, like I have a sketchy feeling about the king. You, but I am looking forward to getting home now. And I have every intention of sending you there just as soon as you finish your end of the bargain. Finish? <laughs> but I thought I mean I, I have finished. The machine is up and running. Utopia is cute again. True, yes. True. But if I'm not mistaken, the deal was for you to cutify the world. Meaning, of course, the whole world, not just Cutopia. Whole oh. world? You don't mean. You can't mean. Zenithu. And the Malevolands. Oh, this king is wait, sketchy. Wait a minute. I, I agree to that. Why, well, yes. Oh, come now. Drew, surely we share the same sweet Um, dream. this is this creepy. Is a golden opportunity to spread happiness throughout the no, world. No, no. Your Majesty, if malevolation is bad for Cutopians, then think how cutification will feel to everyone else. Oh, yeah. My face can only take about four minutes of smiling before it starts to hurt. <laughs> no, you're just talking silly. What could be bad about cutification? Uh, sorry, uh, Hugh, this just doesn't seem right. I think we better yeah. be well enough alone. Yeah, yeah. You don't seem to understand. I'm not asking you to do this. I'm ordering you as my loyal subject. Now, wait a minute. Before you uh -oh. think about it, defy me, and you'll most likely be stuck here forever. Are you really willing to take that chance? Uh oh. Yes. Yes. <laughs> of course. I knew you'd see it my way. Yes, of course. Yes, yes, yes. What do you mean? Yes. Uh oh. I mean, yes. I'm not going to help you carry out this ridiculous plan. Yes, of course he's not. I guess I'll just have to find another way home. <laughs> Good luck with that. Have it your way, Drew. The world will be cutified. And you'll be stuck here forever. Wrong! The world won't be cutified. Only Flux and I know how to fly the machine, and we, and these, are out of here. Stop! You aren't going anywhere. I command you. Stop! <laughs> <sighs> dun, dun, dun! That's right! It's me! Fluffy, fluffy bun bun! Uh-oh. Oh. Is never good. The cutification of the world is only phase one. What? Even now, bric a brac is busy developing an ultimate creative device. Uh -oh. One that will give me the power to create all the happy things I desire. <laughs> what? In short, I will be a god. <laughs> wow, that is creepy. What? Just like me. And someday he too 
will take his rightful place at my feet. Okay. Guards! Guards! Seize these enemies of Cutopia. Uh oh. <laughs> it's not the king! It's Fluffy Fluffy Bug Bug! Masquerading as Hugh! Me? Cross-dressing, seizing rabbit? What? Surely you can do better than that. He has the keys to the machine. Get him. Uh-uh. Time to make our guests cute. It doesn't work. Hey, nothing happened. Flux. Okay, it didn't work. <laughs> Goodness me, Daru. You are absolutely right. <laughs> uh oh. Open up out. Uh oh. Wow. Well, the fugitive and his machine are probably nowhere the near thing the castle. Oh, the music's As back. As you recall, Hugh and his minions are already cutified. Yeah. Whose idea was it to come here anyway? Not mine. Ooh. Not mine. Well, okay, Yakko. Well, it wasn't mine. Ugh. Yes, it. Quiet! We don't have time to argue. We must locate their hiding place. Let's, Let's go, go that away. Oh, gosh. Come on, Fox. Snap out of it. There's a one big chance to get out of here. Golly, Drew, I am perfectly happy right here. Thanks. Oh. You go on ahead. Smack him. This one must take more power. <laughs> what? Yes, your cuteness. Uh oh. I'm the leader, and I say we go that way. Uh oh. Say, don't I know you? It's him! It's him! Get him! Get him. <laughs> My plan worked! Hooray! You've caused enough trouble, fugitive. We're taking you straight to Nefarious! Oh, yeah. He can't have gotten far. Alert the others. Find him! I had a bad feeling about this guy. That's not creepy, using the skull to rattle the things. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I wake you? <laughs> of course. I should have guessed. Nefarious Simons. <gasps> That's Count Nefarious to you, little man. Master of the Malevolands, bane of Qtopia, and soon supreme ruler of the world. So please... And show a little Scram some water. Good time for a cutscene. Something to do during a cutscene. Where am I? Why? One's dungeon, of course. Eh. Yeah. I trust you find the accommodations to your liking. I do try so very hard to furnish my guests with all the creature discomforts they deserve. Yes. Yes, I have of course. I to consider, you understand. What do you want from me? Want. From you. Nothing. You've done quite enough already, Drew Blank. But tell me... Drew Blank instead of Mel Blank. Did you believe that you, you fetid sack of pus, could just waltz into my world? Oh, that is Tim Curry. You're absolutely right. Plans for global Sounds like him. And then just ride off into the sunset. <sighs> Think again. Uh-oh. No, 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 thanks. I... I already gave it the office. Lovely, isn't it? 
It contains a little cocktail of my own invention. I suppose in layman's terms, it could be described as a mutagen ink. I won't tax your feeble brain with the details. What? Suffice it to say that once the serum has worked its way through your body, it will transform the Drew Blank we all know and loathe into a tomb like everybody else. What? Powerless, vulnerable, and a prisoner in my world forever. You're not going to shoot me full of that stuff. Oh, bravo. <laughs> For once, you're absolutely right. I'm not going to. I already have. What? Sorry. I can't help but find it all rather amusing. <laughs> oh, yes, I know. I can be such a terrible prick. Oh, get out of here. The fire is so help me. Oh, my dear Monsieur Blanc. <laughs> I wouldn't count on it. Even if you manage to worm your way out of that reinforced cell, uh -oh. the castle is simply crawling with ferocious guards. I'm sure you're right. This is Tim Curry. If you bumped into them, <laughs> I kill myself. as for possible exit points from the castle, well, I guarantee you'd find the plummet to the surrounding waters below nothing short of breathtaking. So, unless I'm overlooking some small detail, such as a pair of retractable wings that sprout out of your back, I'd suggest you sit back and relax like a good boy and let uh -oh. the gem take its course. You While son. I destroy the cutifier. What? Just tell me where it is and I'll leave you to your unpleasant transformation. Tell you where to find the machine? Ha! Now that is amusing. Is it? <laughs> then perhaps you'll tell me. Uh-oh. Now! Get your hands off me. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Uh-oh. Oh, I'm good. Dun, dun, dun. Think, Mr. Black. Cutie fire. Where is it? When the machine left King Hugh's castle, it was flying due west. I guess it's nearing the edge of Qtopia by now and heading directly for us. And who is piloting the infernal contraption? Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, his voice is unmistakable. Convenient. Nigel Thornbury, uh, and also, of course, um, Hexus from Fern Gully. Yep. An auspicious start to our partnership, Mr. Blanc. Welcome to the team. Thank you, Master. I will serve you well. Uh -oh. Until I escape. Impudent fool! Misfortune. Quickly, gaze into the future. I must know. Can this wretched creature escape my castle? I see. Drew Blank remaining your captive forever. No! Unless. Unless what? He will remain your captive unless a lifeless knight walks, a dead bird rises a flame, and I myself obey his commands. Impossible! These what? absurd things could never come to pass. Of course, my liege. Yes, of course. Nevertheless, of course it's I a riddle. take further precautions. Make no mistake. I will personally blow your friend out of the sky. Uh-oh. And as for you, sleepyhead, your life will be an unspeakable atrocity as my obedient slave. No! Sweet dreams! Dun, dun, dun! That's just slightly creepy and disturbing. Oh, yeah, definitely 90s cartoons. Well, 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 well. <laughs> yeah. My name's Snout. I'll be your merciless dungeon guard for the duration uh. of your stay, which is, uh... <laughs> uh Forever. E <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
eternity. <laughs> so, is that longer or shorter than life? Longer? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let me see what else did you say here. We can escape risk. Well, pff, that's just stupid, you know. Of course it'd be risky for you to try and escape. <laughs> you know who wrote this? In fact, the first risk you'd have to take is getting this out of here. <laughs> you know, because... Uh. Oh. So have a nice... Uh, what is it? Uh, eternity. Yeah, have, have a nice eternity, prisoner. <laughs> That might be Dom DeLuise. Okay. So, we're going to take a moment here to pause so I can run to the restroom. And I think I have to move my car so that Mrs. Dash and Minnie Dash could get out of the house. So, I'm going to take a pause here. And I'll be right back in about five minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to play a video um, having to do with Food for the Poor. And... Uh, unfortunately, it didn't transition last time to my Be Right Back screen as it should have, but rest assured, I'll be right back. Thank you so much. Thank you. 